Oh. Oh yes, the iconic cutscene. Two, one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and that just I always gush over the fact that you see the explosion and then you hear the sound later. And everything's fucking Oh, everything's bouncing around. Oh no. And I just got fucked by a metal uh cookie tray. Shit. Alright, that's a lot of fire. Alright. Get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, and you and you just ride in. You just ride in. Pick this up. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Perfect. God, that's awesome. I actually didn't. I I didn't see that all tear apart in the beta. Head trauma. This is considered. An optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Cool. Uh, I was just I was trying not to talk over that, but yeah, um, that Altera thing, that's new. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, that that reminds me of like old old school like. Atari and like PlayStation games like the kind of fucked up audio shit they'd have. It's really nice. Oh. Anything space I like. God, the music and the sound effects. This game is just fantastic. <laughs> no, you know no shit. God, the Aurora got fucked up. That's a really interesting ship design. Like, you know, you often I often see like ships like Star Wars style with like the long and sleek and weird looking. This thing always it, it's kind of stubby looking. It's kind of cute. I mean, it's massive, but it's it's kind of cute. But uh, the water in this game looks gorgeous. Um, personally, I actually really don't like the beach. Um, but I really like the ocean. I love fishing in the ocean. I love sailing. I love going swimming. I like the ocean. I'm, I'm like Anakin Skywalker, though. I don't like sand. That's why I don't like the beach. But we're gonna jump right in. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at all this! Oh, I got the kelp force right there. Oh, those guys. Uh, let's avoid these mans and go this way, because we need to start picking up uh salvage and stuff. Uh, peeper. Yes, got him. <laughs> Yes, because uh, this is basically my... F These guys are your food supply. Um, I know you can set up farms and stuff later on, but I'm not there yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to come out and say it right now. It's not like I'm going to this game blind. Oh, shit. Um, like, I'm not like, oh, this is so new. I've never seen it. Some of this is new, but for the most part, um, I know quite a bit about this game. I followed it heavily on Twitter. Um... I watched a lot of YouTubers, especially Jacksepticeye, actually play this game. Um, I avoided his most uh, recent full Let's Play of it, because I know he did one for the beta. But then he started over in when it came into full release, and I skipped that because I knew a lot of stuff got added, and I wanted to be surprised. Um, so. Oh, shit. Oh, I remember those guys, though. Ow. Those fuckers. I know about those guys. Called Crashfish, I think. Damn it! But yeah, um... Everything about this game has just been... Oh, what is this? Okay. Just grabbing mushrooms and stuff. Just trying to basically... Anything I can grab, I'm grabbing. Um, I know I need to grab some bladder fish to get some water. Water. Alright, I need a survival knife would be nice. Um, we'll make that second if I have enough left. Uh, yes, perfect. A knife is very nice. Were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife <laughs> remains the only exception. 
what happened on Abraxas Prime. Some guy got weapons and he got fucked up. That's another thing I like about this game. You can't build weapons, but you have to be creative about your stuff. Um, oh, I have to... Right click. I f yeah. Nice. Um, that was five nines, right? I'm pulling out my phone. I want to calculate and see how long that actually is. I'm all, I'm curious about that. Eleven years. <laughs> all right, fabricator. Uh, tools. No electronics. I need to get some of my shrooms out. And then I can make a battery. Love crafting this game. Scanner. Oop, PDA. Uh, let's actually read this first. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location updated to PDA. You know, holes in a, in a life pod, like this one, that's meant to keep you safe from the elements, especially if you're on a water-covered planet, probably not the best thing. So, yeah, there was a part over that direction, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go check that out real quick. Oh, shit! Ah, 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 ah. You came out of nowhere. Okay, evil. I'm just trying to scan plants. You ugly asshole. What a fucking dick. Shit I need is down there, but the fucking... Stalker is uh, watching it. All right, what is this? Vehicle bay fragment? Sure. Just do it quickly. Oh, he's right there. There's a third one. I saw a third one. Oh, I'll swim up first. Okay, one, two. I swear I saw a third one. Uh oh. Yeah, that oxygen tank I saw I could build earlier might be a good investment. Um, but it says down here I can cut this creep vine free. I guess I was seeing things because it doesn't look like there's a third one around here. Cool. Oh, there it is right down there. I get some air from this. Thing real quick. Let the brain coral fart on me real quick. Nice. Right, what's in here? All right. Uh, just another vehicle bag fragment. Okay. Let me sc scan. Scan. Yes! Alright, perfect! That is something I needed. That, because that will give me access to the sea moth and the cyclops later on, which is nice. So, we can get some stuff done. I just want to get, uh, at least want to get a sea moth done. You know, be nice. Do, 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 do. Dum de dum de dum. All right. Uh, no equipment. All right. First, we're gonna make that. Sea glide. So I need a power cell, titanium ingot. Well, I mean, that's not hard. Uh, hmm. What else do I need for that? 
power cell. How do I make a power cell? Oh, I need two batteries. Silicone rubber. And silicone rubber is made with creep vine clusters and a battery. I need more copper and I believe I have enough. Yeah, I have more than enough mushrooms. So I'm going to go get that stuff and I'll be back. Sea glide fragment. That's something I need. Salvage always needs more of that, you know. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me scan this real quick. I just like to, you know, scan everything. You know, have stuff. <laughs> Alright, what do I have right now? Uh, good. I have the copper I need. Cool. Okay, so I got all the stuff, I believe, enough. Oh, we gotta go, actually. I just realized I gotta grab my mushrooms out of here to uh, make some batteries. And actually, I'm gonna put... I don't need these right now, so I'm gonna put those in. I'll take that back, though. And that. Um, I need to make electronics. Two batteries. Once I do that... Should be able to make... No. Oh, wait. Yeah. I have to make the power cell first. Now, I can make this. Cool. That's awesome. Like, I'm seriously in love with the crafting in this game. Oh my god, it's nighttime. Okay, uh... Wow, uh... Kind of want to deploy this thing out in day, so we're going to wait till it's daytime. It is morning, so I will be deploying this thing. How to release it? Just, that's it, I guess. Now I shall climb. Look at the little dudes. Yes. Hello, guys. How's it going? Vehicles. Seamoth ingredients unknown. So I do have to find the blueprints to the Seamoth. I don't know where to find those, so you know what? I'm gonna go look. And also, while I was waiting for day, I had another thought. So I'm gonna call the life pod. I'm gonna I'm gonna call them fives. It, Cause you know you know uh, for those of you who've seen uh, the Star Wars: The Clone Wars animated series, there's a clone trooper in there from the 501st called Fives. You know, he's got the big number five on him. I, I figured, you know what? Fuck it. We'll call you fives. How do you like that fives? You like that? Seek fluid intake. Oh, shit. You're right. I should take seek... I should take fluid intake. Inside fives. I just realized I don't have... Uh, bladder fish. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, I scanned a stalker. Nice. Honestly, that doesn't sound like a good accomplishment. Hey, what did you do today? Yeah, I scanned a stalker. Really? What was his name? I don't know. He was a giant, ugly-ass looking fish thing. Yeah, I'm just having some mild difficulty finding the Seamoth stuff. I'm actually going to go check out this, uh, that thing and see if maybe there's a possibility of something being there, you know? Uh, salt deposit. What can I drop? Uh, let's drop you. Salt. You can make cured fish, which actually fills you up more, if I remember correctly. What is that? Hold on a second. I see more stuff than that. I gotta scan all these things I find. Uh, I see scrap, and I see that limestone. I want to know what that is. Is that like an egg? Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation Creature egg. Within two hours. Um. Drop all that. Thirty seconds. I. Guess I, uh, I got an alien egg now. Interesting. That, that's very interesting. Oh, fuck, I gotta get oxygen. And then I gotta s scan this piece down here. Oh, there's two of them. Can one of you be a sea moth fragment? Because I'd like to... No, uh-uh. Uh-uh, no. That's a no-no. 
Uh, more mobile vehicle based stuff. Sure, I'll take titanium. Uh, sea glide. Nice. Not what I'm looking for, but that could. That's actually something I am gonna need, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, let's go see what this is all about, though. Let us see what happened to this. Uh, ooh. Yeah, these guys did not have a fun time. Nice, nice. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. So they were trying to escape, and uh, guess they didn't make it. It's kind of sad, actually. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. <laughs> that, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. She's like a Fitbit, but smarter and actually just as annoying as a Fitbit. I'm gonna do this. Uh, basics. And then you. So what I think I'm gonna build next is uh, for I need to find the sea glide, obviously, but I need to build uh, I need to get a habitat builder so I can start actually building a shelter. Wiring kit I think is super easy. That's just just silver, and then I need copper wire. I needed uh, gold and a computer chip. And a computer chip it requires like gold and stuff. Um, and I have yet to find. I do have table coral. I knew it was useful for something, so I actually do have that. But uh, I looked around for a while, and I could not find a sea glide fragment. So I'm going to look for that a little bit off camera before the next episode. Um, we have a radio message real quick. Trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Oh, oh yeah, the Sunbeam. I forgot about that. Nothing but vacuum. These all terrorist ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, and they will pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach the position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn, Charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for all terror. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, um... Uh <laughs> That's funny. Um so that's annoying. I Yikes. Yeah, so I started uh reading that PDA from the Sunbeam at the wrong time. Uh so it was kind of annoying they were talking over one another. Then the uh Aurora did that, it exploded. I for that's probably one of the better parts of this game. I'm glad I didn't stop recording like I was planning a bit to. Um And then the computer basically said, Oh yeah, you're you're kinda fucked. Here's a radiation suit, so you are less fucked. Let's see what this message is that just came in. Uh, just another distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Life by 19. Uh... Yeah, I hate to break it to you guys, but I think you're kind of... You're kind of fucked. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode of Subnautica. Um, didn't get as much done as I wanted to do today. I didn't find the Seamoth, but hey, I got, 
I got this build. You know, I got my nice little... I got my Sea Glide. Uh, we have to watch the Aurora explode, which is always fun. Nice. Is there a flashlight on this? Yeah, it's just right-click. So that's always nice. So now I'm kind of exploring around at nighttime. Um, and I got a bunch of tools made, and uh, don't don't hurt me. And I'm gonna get back on my ship. I'm gonna get back to fives. But uh, yeah, so uh, let me know if there's anything in particular besides trying to get the sea moth built that you want me to do next episode. Um, I will definitely try and if I have the sea moth blueprints by next episode, I'll try and get uh, that built and definitely start on the base somewhere nearby. If any of you watching have an idea of where you want the base to be, uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, and tell me what you thought about this video. It's something a little bit different than the, the norm, but I'm excited to get the series started. And I think we did a first good episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.